Hey there, YouTubians. Well, uh, I don't know what happened uh, with the first video. It just stopped. I got plenty of uh, storage space. But I was getting to the point where I want to remove um, the bottom motor box. And so I've got that screw up there. And I think there's a screw down there. Uh, let me get those um, removed and we'll see if the uh, the bottom will uh, come out there. Don't know what happened. My uh, my camera just locked up. I thought, oh, I'm out of uh, storage space, but no. I'm good. It's just weird. Okay, so... Oh, that's easy. Let me uh, turn you on your side. Ugh, that grease. Lovely vintage smell, but ugh, it's sticky. And I can see here where someone, I believe, had tried to pry this bottom open. This is all bent. That needs to be straightened up. Where are we? I've got a screw here. Okay, and uh, can I see the screw on this side? Yeah, it's ready to go. We are uh, separated. Okay. So there should be a couple of screws pop out. Oh, I've got these. Oh, I think these screws were uh, from the uh, tower. Let me, uh, let me put these back. These go up here. Because mm -hmm. I'm not quite ready to to pull that lever yet. Okay, that's happy. That's happy. Awesome. Uh, I think this is a ratcheting pole here, I believe. That spring probably needs to be replaced. Doesn't look very happy. Uh, okay, pull this out. And, um... And we'll go from there. Any goodies in there? Or have I already checked that? Nothing. Doesn't look too bad in there. Okay. So now, uh, let me just look at what is in there. that all right oh that's heavy yeah we'll uh we'll see what needs to be done here i'm just looking to see how that is uh connected
so I might be able to remove um, the inspection doors uh, just by angling them away from the lever mechanism. Let's try that. Just for grins and giggles. If not, put the screws back on and slowly step away. Okay, support it. I do see that it's it's still connected here. All right, and never mind. We'll put the screws back on, and we'll deal with this uh, during another uh, video. Magnetized yeah, screwdriver. Cross thread. A little bit of gummed up stuff that makes the blade not go all the way in the hole. Come on. Good. And good. One more. Whoop. Don't lose it. Lost it. There it is. Oh, uh, where is it? There. Beautiful. All right. I will. I will apply some uh, penetrant that see if we can get that off might have to apply some heat um, so all right I'll see you uh, real quickly on the other side okie doke I'm back with uh, some blaster penetrating catalyst now let's see if it if it does the trick here All right. Huh. Geyser. Okay, I'm going to leave that alone. I might apply some heat to that just to uh, allow it to uh, penetrate better, but put that away. Toolbox away. And um, let that set for a while. Cool. All right, let's uh, put you aside. Just look at this for a while, admire it. Uh, so, what have we got here? It is an uh, EMC 12 volt DC, doesn't show how many watts it is. 
SPN80027 Electric Motor Corporation, Racine, Washington, USA. Okay, we're looking at... I don't know what this, the purpose of this is. It's definitely an access point. Is it used to uh, spin the motor manually? Um, I don't know. I guess it wouldn't uh, kill me to uh, throw a socket in that thing, see if a socket will fit. Very pretty. Oh no, I know what that is. That's a Zerk fitting. That's for uh, greasing the thing. All right, cool. Yeah, I just uh, saw the uh, the nipple. All right, cool. So I know what that is all about. Whew, what a mess. Look at that cord. Oh, I don't know if uh, you can see there on the floor, but I found another uh, Johnson box very cheaply, and this is a Model K, pretty much identical to the Model D, except the tower has a different configuration. Um, this actually has a socket for a special 12-volt cord, and... Uh, this particular machine uh, counts coins, small tokens, and quarters. Uh, otherwise, uh, I could throw this uh, this counter into this machine, and it should work uh, the same. All right. So, is there anything else I want to look at here? No, not at this juncture. I'm not ready to work on that. Uh, I need to continue working on this stuff, but I need some kerosene. And so, um, right now, I'm left with oh, the tower. And I... Uh, I'll probably tackle that uh, that thing of beauty at a later time. It's really dirty. Um, I could pull out these rods. That's cool. Uh, they're keyed, so uh, once they're set all the way down, they should remain in place. Now, let's see if this will separate. There's a gasket, and I wouldn't doubt that that gasket has uh, has some uh, stickiness to it. But let me, uh, yeah, it'll uh, it'll come apart. It looks like everything wants to wants to lift with the with the top there now here's the deal with the little telltale if you try to turn the whole unit upside down and shake coins out this falls out and uh, your boss is going to be uh, wanting to know why you tip the machine upside down yeah so I'll leave you alone for now. Uh, so, okay. You want to be very careful with uh, with 
this thing because I do not want to damage that glass. I can tell it's, it's stuck in there pretty well, probably because of the gasket material. See, it wants to come apart. Separate you from you. Get you separated. Good. That's intact. Keep you separated now. Yes. See that? See how that glass is uh, tapered on the edges? So, okay. So the taper goes on the inside. See if we can get this out. There's a glass there. That's stuck. Let's, let's try to rescue you. I'm kind of off camera right now. But. All right. There's another piece of glass. And there's a, a rubber um, thing that goes uh, like this on the glass, I think, something like that. Let me see what I have here. Pull off three pieces of glass and show how that is like that. See that? For my memory as well as uh, your edification. This is how the glass is removed. Right, so you've got a corner like that. So each one should have a corner going like this. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. All right, so this will not disassemble from here. It's uh, riveted, peened over. Fine by me. I just want to keep that uh, square and prevent it from being uh, bent. We will deal with cleaning the glass at a later time. In the meantime, I'll just be very careful and uh, set it aside. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what have I got here? I have an intact gasket. Got a spider in there. Oh, there's a... Uh, uh, cat Stevens, a little cat. He's got a little uh, injured paw. Now, I'm told to be very careful with this, and I can see why. Looks like it's made of plastic, and uh, it's likely very old. So I'm not going to jerk that around. It looks to be held in place with uh, four small screws. I think I can use a smaller screwdriver than that. Um, what do I have at my disposal?
Oh, that's a long screw. I know I have uh, previous videos and uh, and uh, pictures as to how this is oriented with the base, so I'm going to trust that. Okay, there are two screws there, almost completely out. And somebody had scratched an X there. Maybe X means toward the back here. I don't know. But I don't know. One of those sticking your tongue out moments. Uh, but I'm not sticking my tongue out. One stubborn one. But I think his days are numbered. Or not. Come on. Awesome. So there is that uh, rather dirty bit of uh, machinery. In there, pretty little flap color keyed to the box. I really thought that plastic would be thinner, but uh, but it's not. Yeah, it wouldn't be fun to replace that because these are uh, rivets, and so I'm not going to replace that. We're just going to uh, clean it up. Get this out of the way. Okay, and now I have this beautiful piece of stuff. Whether it'll come out, I don't know. There's the bell. Bells never really worked on these things. They didn't go jing jing that I remember. But Let's continue the tear down. So I don't want to mix up screws. Well, I'm not going to mix up these screws with those. Slight difference. Let me put these four screws away in their little box. ready to go and that oh there's a little spider yeah he's already falling apart he's lived loved and died in there. Oh, 
of interesting. Yeah, so these uh, pedestals aren't uh, solid tubes. They're uh, like roll pins or something, apparently facing the inside. Hi, spider. Grrr. Attack of the giant spider. Let's try to get these screws out so we don't bend them. Mm. Candidates for the wire brush. Get them on the wire wheel. Okay. All right, cool. So, mm. Phew, wow, that's dirty, but it's probably been sitting in someone's garage for, uh, for decades. <clears throat> we might as well see how far we can go with this, huh? This is what I'm working on now. Little tiny round head screw for each. This is a true square, so I don't think it matters <clears throat> which uh, plate goes where. Just to know that um, there are plates in need of de rusticizing. These appear to be, are these gaskets? Is this a gasket? Yes, and I just broke it. Yeah, see, it's crumbling. So, uh, that's on metal. So, I think I may, uh, it's too late now, huh? Okay, so this is on its little piece of metal. I'm going to have to try to put that back in. Might as well go for it since it does have a metal backing. Okay. There's these corner chunks that are uh, still there. <clears throat> I'll get it all back together. There's that. There's that. Now I've got these chunks. I'm going to have to put this all in a baggie and see if they can be saved. Okay. All right. So this is now free of stuff. Uh, let me look for a bag in here. All right, cool. I'm gonna put all of this in here. this stuff in here too. Okay, did I neglect anything? I don't know. There's some little pieces there. But I think that's as uh, good as I'm going to get. I've got everything off of that. Might make another gasket. We'll see. in the bag. I've got that sitting there. There's nothing more to disassemble other than the bell. Let's see if that'll turn. Yes, it does. 
I have a sprue and a lock washer. And it looks like this is keyed. So that's cool, so it doesn't spin around or anything. Okay, um, I'm going to put this in the baggie as well. So the bell screw is going in the baggie. Bingo. Get you out of the way and take a look at you. I don't know if that paint is there on purpose. I'm kind of almost thinking maybe almost. But anyway, that needs to be cleaned up. This beautiful piece of, uh, is it bronze? Or is it just pot metal? I don't know. Cast iron? Ah, you know, one thing I find very interesting with this, let me just, uh, for fun, the quarters even go in there? Yeah, yeah they sure do. So it takes up the quarters. Awesome. And uh, there you go. Oh, I left a roll pin out of the baggie. And I've got a real mess started here, so I'm going to have to start cleaning things up on the workbench. But uh, that's it. There's the, there's the tower disassembled. And um, we're going to leave it at there because we're already at 32 minutes. And also, plus, what, another 20 minute? video that got cut off so uh, we'll uh, upload these and uh, catch you uh, on the next video uh, anyone who enjoys this thanks for watching thanks for subscribing and blah 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 and uh, looking forward to uh, talking with you again comments and uh, suggestions always welcome until then have a nice day